I suffered from positional vertigo, I expect now, for over 20 years. I remember times as a young, a young adult waking up on weekends, knowing before I opened my eyes that it was going to be a dizzy weekend. Uh, it had nothing to do with visual. It was a very internal dizziness. So your eyes are closed and you know everything's spinning. And I'd wake up occasional weekend, I'd say every few months, and I would um, know that I'd spend the weekend in bed. I needed someone to help me to the washroom. I was nauseous. I was constantly nauseous for those three to four days. I was frightened. I was thinking of all my disability plans, wondering if I would ever be able to go back to work. The only good thing is once I finally was able to make it to a doctor to discuss the vertigo, um, they, I, they were able to diagnose it and say it was positional. This, I could eventually, it would eventually pass. The dizziness would pass. However, there was no cure, there was nothing they could do. This idea of movements wasn't even in their vocabulary at the time. It was, you're gonna spend, you could spend three months to a year getting past the symptoms. I had a second acute attack about 10 years after the first one. I made an appointment with my physician and she recommended the dizzy fix. I had my adult kids come over and said, you're gonna watch me do this. I'm gonna put this funny contraption on this dizzy fix on my head and it took less than five minutes. They're over and they're looking at me saying, okay, are you any different? And I felt different, my ears felt different, but I was hesitant. I wasn't about to immediately do anything. I sat down and said, okay, I'm gonna take it easy. I dropped an earring under my bed. I was able to put my head down and pick it up. Uh, it was an immediate, uh, an immediate, an, an immediate cure. And now, I mean, I, if I travel, it'll be in my suitcase. I know that I will have a tool if anything like that happens to me again. I don't think I would go anywhere without it.